Hey everybody, uh, my name is Jesper, I do vocals in Ghost Diaries. I'm Sebastian, I do I do the drums in Ghost Diaries. You do the drums and uh, this you... is for noise. Noise. It's <laughs> noise. <laughs> Really do appreciate the um, opportunity, guys. How are you guys doing? Doing great. Really good. Fantastic. How did you feel your set went? We haven't played yet. We haven't played it. No, that was <laughs> really bad. It's okay. You've done a lot. I knew. Of I knew what I meant to say. Oh. We're playing in. Uh, <laughs> playing like an hour. An hour and ten yeah. minutes. Like yes, I knew that. Oh, that's so embarrassing. It's I'm okay. So sorry. <laughs> um, yeah. How how psyched are you to like uh, see the? Really, real excited. Really excited. Really excited. Fantastic. Take uh, some some booty. Yeah. Take <laughs> some ass. Have you had much chance to see many of the bands here? Yeah. Watched the uneven structure yesterday, mm -hmm. and uh, you watched the algorithm mm -hmm. and uh, uh, textures. Textures. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah. Well, they, what, would you, what would you say the highlights of the festival are so far? Yeah. I think textures were pretty good. Yeah. I'd say textures. Yeah. As well. okay, sure, yeah. 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 They're awesome. Cool. Too bad they're. No stuff. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Always, yeah. Been, always been a fan of textures yeah. for, yeah. I don't know, since 2008 maybe. Oh, wow. Great So, yeah. since I was a tiny kid. <laughs> <laughs> still a tiny, still tiny. I'm still a tiny kid. Tiny kid. <laughs> cool. Um, Edna always been quite interested in sort of like some of the up and comers and stuff as well. I just wondered if you wanted to give any sh like shout outs to anyone that you've toured with or anything at all, any bands that you feel like could do with a bit more attention, so to speak. Our buddies. Exist Immortal. Exist Immortal. Which was a highlight, by the way, as well, mm, yesterday. Yeah. Mm. Great guys, mm -hmm. great, great guys. music. Yeah. Check those uh, those guys out. Yeah, sure. good friends of ours. And from uh, like from our home city, uh, a band called Cabal. Uh -huh. It's like some really heavy, occult, yeah. gent, genty black death metal kind of stuff. Great cool. guys, uh, great music. Can I just double check how you spell that? Cabal? Cabal. C-A-B-A-L. I thought so, but I didn't want to make an idiot of myself for ten. It could have been a K, maybe. <laughs> it could have been a K. I think been. you can actually spell it like that as well in mm. some instances. But um, yeah, the guy who uh, does the music and, and um, mm. plays guitar in Cabal, he's uh, the guy who produced our uh, uh, latest cool. album, Blind World. Oh, cool. That's that guy. Fantastic. How do you feel that went? The Blind World album? Yeah. Uh, well, really well. Uh, like Spotify, it's looking, looking good. <laughs> the <laughs> reviews good are numbers. pretty good, and people Brilliant. are talking positively about it. So. Yeah. People yeah. seem to dig it. Brilliant. Um, what would you say um, influences your music? How did you come up with the writer? You want me to say that one again? <laughs> the three M's. We have the three M's. <laughs> three M's. Uh, our three inspirations. It's uh, Mishuga, mm -hmm. Misery Signals, and Michael Jackson. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Interesting <laughs> I know. <laughs> it sounds weird when you say. No, no, yeah. these things these things work. As metal constantly proves. Yeah. Is there any influences outside of music that tends to inspire um, creativity at all for you? The, just the world, I think. Mm -hmm. The world, yeah. yeah the movies. Called, yeah, movies. Movies, uh, <laughs> like depiction of uh, world affairs. Yeah, the depiction of the world, yeah. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> cool. Um, so, where would you say uh, some of your favorite places to play are? Oh, um, that one. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't played yeah, we that haven't, much, really. Uh, oh, okay. We, we so haven't really played that many shows, yeah. Unfortunately. Okay. Do you prefer um, smaller gigs, or do you prefer the like uh, bigger stages? I mean, personally, I would say smaller gigs yeah. for sure, because uh, yeah. it's more intimate. But um, mm. we recently played at a festival in, in our hometown, Copenhagen. Uh, mm -hmm. It's called Copenhagen Hill. It's oh, like right. a pretty big festival. It's got like had Prophets of Rage and System of a Down and uh, oh, okay. Frank Carter and the Rattlesnakes as well, and us. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great show. That was a huge stage, the biggest one we ever played. For sure. Brilliant, big stage. From your own catalogue, uh, what would you say your favorite songs are and why? Mm. Detached from our new album. Mm -hmm. The closing song is definitely my favorite. Mm -hmm. It's very groovy and it's very melodic and it's also yeah. has that, I think it's the song that describes her sound the best. Mm -hmm. It has yeah. a really, it's really melodic and it still really has the really angry, mm -hmm. angry parts. Mm -hmm. um, very groovy, you know, lots of energy. Mm -hmm. It's a good, it's a song that, you know, goes over live very well as well. It does. Uh, any favorites yes. of yourself? That one as well, and uh, the song called No Way Out, because it's, it's, once again, encapsulates our sound for you. It's like a big contrast. Crazy, weird riffs in the verse, and a super catchy Michael Jackson chorus. <laughs> no, it's not Michael Jackson, but it's, pop, it's poppy. It's poppy for sure. And on the old album, I would say 
Dreamless State. Uh, the very first song we ever mm -hmm. put out, actually. That one's okay. one of my favorites from that album. What about you? I think, the first album. yeah. Yeah, uh, probably Dreamless State as well. Maybe. Yeah. Nice oh, maybe, taste. Yeah. Good, good, good taste, taste buddy. Good taste. Nice <laughs> going, man. That's good, man. Or maybe even the also the closing song on that album, mm -hmm. Everlasting Bliss. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Kind of the same reasons as mm -hmm. Detached. It mm -hmm. has the Close. really angry parts and has the really melodic parts. And it's, yeah, good song. <laughs> um, going on tour and everything, uh, I'd be curious if you had any sort of like uh, favorite moments, just sort of like uh, you know, best horror stories and things like that. Um, uh, horror stories? Tour stories. Oh, tour stories. Tours. We have horror stories. Horror, well. horror stories about the tours. Yeah. That can yeah. also work. There have been some. Yeah, there have been some. <laughs> like the car breaking down, the van breaking down. Uh, that sucks. Yeah. And they're being robbed. Yeah. Robbed. Yeah. Yeah. Robbed no, not robbed. Yeah, that sounds extreme. But uh, broken into the van. Oh, right. Uh, that thing. Yeah, yeah, that must have been pretty freaky. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but we're back again, and you know, luckily nobody was hurt. It was just things, but it still sucks. Yeah. Cool. But uh, like in the in the in the good ways, it's always the show. Yeah. That's why we do it. So that's that's the highlight of it. Every, yeah. every time. We have we have fun doing. You know, just like we we joke around a lot. <laughs> so yeah. That's it's cool. always fun. We. Have got any funny we, stories from the tours? <laughs> It's kind of hard to like pinpoint one when you're like on the spot. Like, yeah. what's funny? Yeah. <laughs> you know, sure. it's like tell a joke. And, um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. You know, I, but you know, if, ha! if there's some good like, one. <laughs> yeah, oh, I'm so funny, man. So good, baby. So, but you know, it's there's tons of funny stories. It's mm. just kind of hard to pinpoint. You know, sure. you need you need the kind of thing where you. Yeah, to be yeah, fair, yeah. that's a very good point. It does put you on the spot yeah. so much. Like I, I should have. It would have been easier if I'd asked you to tell a joke. Yeah. <laughs> you need okay. like even a, that. I can't do. I can't do that. I don't remember <laughs> anyone. Fair enough. Well, I'd like to uh, finish on a yeah. bit of a silly uh, joke to uh, have a bit of fun. But um, if you were tasked with making something out of bacon, what would you make? <laughs> make something out of bacon. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm vegan, well, so he's it, vegan, it has yeah, to be so vegan bacon. Then. I need to stop asking these questions. <laughs> no, it's fun. It's fun. Um, what about you? Maybe you have an answer. I would make something. I would make out of bacon. Uh, <laughs> I, don't know, know. I think like, it's funny though. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you don't, really, have, yeah, I don't have. You don't I don't have know. anything. Okay, okay, I have something. I'd make more, okay. make, yeah, more make more bacon. Make more bacon. Make more bacon. I have a, a friend back in, in, in Copenhagen. Mm. Him and I have this really ridiculously weird thing mm. where we just all of a sudden tell, look at each other and say hey what would you rather and then we make up some ridiculous shit like would mm. you rather your eyes were made of uh, cucumbers or would you would you rather um, uh, sweat shit or something like that definitely the eyes of cucumber yeah exactly but we always tend we try to make them uh, yeah. sometimes a little bit more extreme like yeah which one would you have yeah. or like a really annoying person taped to your body permanently <laughs> Which one would you? Yeah. <laughs> Something like that, right? Okay, we could go That's on for the, of the day. Yeah. We could go for a play um, But yeah, really do appreciate you um, coming down, having a little chat with us. Um, all the best of luck for you, Kate, um later, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the festival. Thank you. Been a pleasure, right? Thank you. Pleasure, man. Cheers. Thank